Alrighty guys, and welcome back to another episode of Ni no Kuni 2. We are here to do more side quests. Of course we can just progress the game. To be completely honest, uh, we could probably beat the game in the, the next 10 hours. Less than that, most likely, if we just uh, just focus on the main quest. But I want to do side quests. I'm, I'm a really big fan of just knocking side quests out the way, especially since they give you access to so many before the end of the game, right? So we want to do that because it, it'll benefit us in the end. But for the most part, off camera, I did a lot of farming. Like, I did so much farming. They save our clock time. Our gameplay time is now over 100 hours. A 100 hours. And this is mostly just because I like the gameplay mechanics, you know? It doesn't feel overly repetitive you know i it's it's more engaging uh than just to me like when when i get to play action rpgs it's more engaging than just turn-based stuff so i can just go and just play a battle and just test some stuff out which is really fun and i just got a text on my phone saying i need to pay my bill or they're gonna interrupt my services god damn man i got like 13 days left leave me alone but if you guys want to help and support pay my bills if y'all got amazon prime y'all can just help me y'all can give me a free five dollars if y'all got amazon prime by just coming over here to twitch linking your twitch account to your amazon prime account and then you get twitch prime and you can use twitch prime to subscribe to my twitch channel for free isn't that amazing but anyway, enough enough shielding. <laughs> All right, I thought I oh I thought I just try to do that a little bit more, just because, just because. I mean, it you know some people generally don't know that Twitch Prime uh, exists. People don't know that if you combine your Twitch with your uh, Amazon Prime, that you get a free Twitch Prime subscription every month every month every month too all right so if you do it for the first month you have to manually do it for the second month but you know i just thought i'd let people know that i mean why not right it's the year of the sellouts every year is the year Come of the sellouts do some shopping, eh? but anyway as you see like i did a lot of like farming what else can i do uh, i'll be just, seeing you again then just overall just gameplay off camera and you'll notice one thing we really didn't level up too often. Like, we're still in the 40s. I fought level 70s. I fought level 70s, right? And we didn't really at all, we didn't really at all, like, level up because the game scales the experience you earn from a higher level enemies, which is hella hilarious. But you know what? I'm kind of glad because the payoff is, yeah, sure, I don't get, like, massive experience, but I get this amazing equipment that I got from uh, this dragon that we fought. So look, yeah, yeah, I didn't get a lot of experience, but look at this, imbues weapon with light and slight damage boost versus dragons, which is great. So we got like this four star quality weapon right here, or rarity, excuse me. This is the, the, the stars are the rarity and the quality is the uh, little medallion at the bottom left. But yeah, the rarity of this item is extremely rare. This is definitely like post game equipment, I bet. So, I'm happy about it. Right now, what, what we're gonna do though is focus on doing side quests. I apologize for like talking up for like the past five minutes probably. But uh, we're gonna just start recruiting people. I think that's what I'll focus on. Yeah, that's what we'll focus on camera. Like we'll do the main, the main stuff right here. Top marks for trying. We can't do that. We actually got five of the doors done. I did one door off camera, but that was because I was literally just trying some stuff and it surprisingly worked out. I actually went to danger room level five and the enemies increased, but also the goodies they drop increased. All right, Achilles. Okay, let's do this. Let's go to the dry lands and look for them. So let's do some actual exploring. While I'm here, I might want to get some items. I don't need to get the money. I'm maxed out on money, as you can see. I don't need the damn money. I don't need the money. So we're gonna work close to the dry lands. Oh, look at that. Boom. We're just gonna come over here and fly over here and complete this. Do, 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 do. Nah, nah, nah. We out of here. Ain't nobody got time to be fighting level 60s. Oh, wait. <laughs> Technically, we do it all the time off camera. How 
did he get over here? Her dad is crazy. Alright, we'll probably see him in a second. Oh, wow, he's in this cave over here? Please tell me I can just float down. Oh, come on! I have to get back in the ship because they don't want to slide down the hill. <laughs> Alright, so after we like recruit everybody, we're going to go around the world and destroy tainted monsters because I'm 100% sure we're, we're, we're more than qualified to, do, to fight the uh, tainted monsters, but we'll leave that for later, you know? Uh... Hello? Anybody here? We got bones. Oh, what was that? Huh? Don't these tools look like they're the ones used in uh, capstone upon hole? Mm. Yeah, yeah, they certainly do. But what are they doing all the way out here? Oi! Well, you don't think they belong to Keeley's father, do you? I mean, she did say he was heading in this direction. What if something happened out at sea, like... Which messed up is, how do they just randomly search this cave and just think, Oh, Keeley's father is here. Oh my! You're right, Tani, they must be his. Wow. Hope this doesn't mean... Oh, he's dead. Huh? Oh, he's dead. <laughs> okay, so they were gonna make me go and actually learn the Talk to the Dead spell. Fortunately enough for me, I already have it. It's a ghost! Battle stations! Oh my god. Uh, it doesn't seem it wants to hurt us. Do something! Cast spirit medium on this spooky and so so by your yada yada yada. So we gotta cast a speak to the dead spell. Daddy come home. Nah, he dead. <laughs> yeah. mm. Mm. This sprite I'm drinking, it's been a while since I drank soda. But I can't drink too much of it because I'll break out in the face. But it's, it's, it's A1, my guy. I talk and talk, but no one can understand me. Uh. Says you. We can hear you loud and clear. Thank you very much. The name's Scully. I'm a fisherman from the hull. Nice to meet you, Scully. Uh, what happened to the X-Files, my guy? <laughs> oh, my God. So it's a long story. We're all going swimmingly until I got caught in this awful storm. So he got, so he got body by a storm. I ended up here. This cave looks like a good place to put me head down for a while. You see, I thought I was safe at first, but enchant. Oh, I got attacked by monsters, and that was the end of me. Damn! All I want to do now is go and apologize to Keeley's back in uh, the hole for leaving her to fend for herself. You know, but I can't even leave this cave. Funnily enough, it was Keely who asked us to try and find you. Mm-hmm. So the poor thing's been waiting for me the whole time. Oh. The monster that attacked me pinched my necklace. I don't suppose you'd be willing to go and get it back for me. Huh? Oh, come on. All right, so we gotta go over. We gotta go to another area, my guy. It'd make me feel a whole lot better if she had something to show me her uh, for me, running off and leaving her in a pinch. So we gotta go kill a monster that nabbed his necklace. Alright, is he in this cave? Daddy come back. Defeat the clog. Oh, the clog is about to get clocked. And I love how I have absolutely no MP or HP. You know what? I was like kind of getting bodied by the higher level enemies, but I wasn't getting bodied, you feel me? I was getting bodied, but I wasn't getting bodied. You know what I'm trying to say? So what I'm actually going to show you guys really quick is that Evan is actually a force to be reckoned with, finally. I mean, he's not broken broken, but he's pretty good. So what we want to do is give him the rocket fuel, and basically this will allow him to gradually restore MP during battle. But what we can do is also tweak the tactic tweaker. <laughs> And we can actually increase the amount of MP restored by taking damage, right? So that's going to increase his MP restoration rate by a lot and whatnot. Just, like, the tactic tweaking doesn't, like, only increase the uh, amount of MP restored by taking damage. It's also increased by using items and other uh, methods of recovering MP. So any MP recovery method gets boosted by that. And then we have equipment for Evan. Uh, increases the amount of MP restored. So we want to be on the Starfall Sword 
when we are recovering MP from the food and whatnot. And then we also got uh, the Punishing Redeeming Sword. So when we got MP, we want to switch over to this sword and we want to let loose with a spell, increase the MP use. So it's going to cost more MP, but the spell damage increases, which is going to let him do more damage. At the cost of more MP, of course, but you know, since we're gonna be recovering MP so quick, it won't matter. So, we got another uh, staff here, which is a post game staff, I think, or just in game at this point. Increases the amount of MP restored. We also got some stuff on his shoes. He got MP is gradually restored during battle, and then he's got more increases the amount of MP restored. So, yeah, we got a lot of stuff for him. Maximal MP increased by one. So, Evan is pretty decked out right now. Everybody else that's currently in my active party actually has like dumb things like lucky locket slightly more treasure chest up here slightly more treasure chest up here before i have that on because i really would appreciate if i could um oh look at this guy i would really appreciate to get more um rare items from monsters specifically i, I did it to to get some really good stuff from uh, the dragons all right here we go we're gonna fight Clog. Clog. I wonder if I wonder if he's ever clogged the toilet. <laughs> I get it. Did Clog clog the toilet? Oh man, he clogged the toilet. You know how they be like, "Yo, you got robbed." You know how did that even? How does rob become a uh, a thing to say for somebody getting you know that this getting pillaged? <laughs> So this is how the word came up for clog the toilet, right? Anyway, I, I don't know what I'm saying at this point. We gotta give this dude this the business. Ready for this? Yeah, boy. Uh, yeah, that fire man. That fire man. I'm gonna give our parties a defense boost. Evan has that. All right, I see you. Come on, that hitbox is outrageous. Blocked. My dude got capped. All right, she's got her gun on. So we're gonna use not a full restore. Um, Sorway Sweet. Nah, I guess we'll use a full restore here. So here we go. I'm just gonna get some feedback. Play with Bracken real quick. You know what? If all he's gonna do is just run away, I'm about to just guard cancel my shot. I got to dodge his uh, shockwave punch though. Yeah, yeah. How, how's it? <laughs> Bracken. Yep. Putting holes in his back. Putting holes in his back. Putting holes in his. Oh! <laughs> hey, hey, huh? It ain't serious. You just gotta die anyway. Alright, here he comes. Here he comes, rougher than the rest of them, the best of them. Yeah, I dodged too early. His big ass hitbox. Here goes. Sit your ass down. Evan. Get out of here. Get out of here. Trying to cause problems because your hitbox is fucking ridiculous. <laughs> Bless the guard pendant. Yeah, boy, Keely's keepsake. All right, Daddy, come home. You can blame it all on me. All right. This dude's dumbass. Like that was just a bigger monkey. <laughs> It was a bigger type of monkey. Alright. We got your goddamn keepsake.
That's me necklace. Thank you very much, kid. Yeah, see, here's the thing. We're gonna sell it for uh, medicine that we need for fighting that big dog. <laughs> mm. Of course, just leave, leave it to us, Scully. Why can't we scumbag these guys? Why do we always have to play as the goody two-shoes, man? I wanna scumbag these people. Like, I want, a, I want a Japanese RPG where we can scumbag. He's gone. Hmm. I mean, give us the option to be a scumbag, you know? All right, we're going straight to the hole. We're just gonna go to the hole. That's what I'm calling it, because calling it by the whole name is just terribly sorry. Oh wait, there might be some more side quests here since it's a new chapter, yup. I totally forgot about this area. Yeah, it was a, uh, a side quest up there. Interesting. Excuse me. You got something for you, Keely? Keely? Uh. It's a pretty nice necklace. Is that it? Is it really for me? Yeah. Well, your dad gave it to us to pass on to you. He's dead. If the offer still stands, I'd love to come and join you in your kingdom. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Ta very much. Ta very much? Hey, we got Keely. Where's Pele? We need Pele and Keely now. They're working together. Leaf book. A group. Mm-hmm, this word, uh-huh. Here's a nice picture I took. Reckon I'll be right happy here. I love how Leaf Book updates immediately, even though the chick just left. Like, huh, how'd you get there so quick? I actually want to know, how'd you get over there to that island so quick? So while we're here, we might have somebody else we can recruit. Look at this guy. Look at this dog. Nope, all right, so it's just a generic side quest. Because his name is... Reckless man. I don't like the look of this, man. You know what they say to folks who talk to themselves, ain't it? <laughs> huh? It seems the word of the rebirth of the mighty Pow <laughs> The Pow Pow Really? The mighty who? The greatest canine of them all. The hero of dog folk everywhere. His back could shatter continents. Bruh. Pow Yo, you Gosh. tripping. I guess you must be very strong then. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, a dog. So, we gotta go. What we gotta do? What we gotta do, man? He probably wants us to fight somebody. The single digit smiting of the wolves. Huh? <laughs> Famously defeated a pack of wolves that were terrorizing this area using nothing but his finger. What the? This dude sound like an anime character. I should do the same, and there will be no doubt that I am indeed his reincarnation. Oh my god. I can wait no longer. Sweet victory beckons. Um, this dude about to get himself killed. Mm. Do you really think he's gonna try and poke some wolves? Yeah, sounds like it. The only wolves he'll find around by you are hedgehounds. Uh-oh. Hedgehounds. My dude's about to Wait get himself killed. This dude thinks he's the reincarnation of some god. Go after the reckless man. Nah, he dead. <laughs> nah, he, he dead. <laughs> he dead, my guy. I mean, since we're over here, we might as well try to do all, all the quests as we can, right? Actually. Let's focus on the people quest. Go to the factory floors. Uh, let's do this because this dude has a certain skill that I need to unlock for uh, some of the research missions so we're gonna go to broadleaf and we're gonna go to dino floor number one all right so we just warped to the testing floor and I think we can just backtrack now yeah this is a lot easier than trying to redo the puzzle yeah look at this yeah we just go downstairs and we should just be there Yep. 
We just need to get on the other side. And that, yep, yeah, okay. So this is definitely a faster path than trying to redo the puzzles just to go get the, the progress through here. So nah, nah, no thanks. I should have, I don't know why I didn't think of that sooner. So you guys on YouTube did not see me try to like redo the puzzle to, just to get through here. Come oh, look on. at these guys. I think I need to fight these dudes for a quest. Quintillion core process. Hey! Alright, nice. So we basically just killed two birds with one stone. Alright, so we just need to get down here now. Look at that. Yeah! Killing bird. Two birds with one stone. Yeah! Yeah, man. Yeah! This door is locked. We gotta find another way. Don't be ridiculous. Let's just give it a bit of a shove. You'll force the force entry sensor. Uh-oh. Thanks. Now we gotta fight, you asshole. Slippery back! We detected the breach, so the security level's been ramped up, which means we're gonna have to stand and fight. Oh, you god damn it. God damn. Alright, Evan, it's your turn to shine, my guy. Uh-uh, uh-uh. Damn it. Here goes. Damn! Shout out to that level up. Yeah, that level up came in handy right there. <laughs> yes! That should do it. The door is unlocked. Let's head into the research lab. Yes. Odds once out. We're doing all these quests. This dude got trapped in there. Woo, yeah! System's back online and we're good to go. And now we can get him out of there. Thank goodness. I don't know how he got trapped there in the first place. I wasn't really paying attention to his quest line. It was kind of boring. <laughs> hey, we almost left this really good dangerous flutter by baton. So while we're here, we're gonna go heal up and use this stone. We got a dangerous flutter B baton. Let's see. Wand of wisdom. Oh wait, these flutter by baton. Oh, these are different. I thought these was these. Flutter B, flutter by. Oh, okay. It's kind of interesting. Right. Evan has no dark spells, but I got it on him anyway because it's the only staff with MP restoration up. So now what we're going to do is basically go to Broadleaf Entrance. And we're going to get Oz out of there. We're going to get Oz out of that dumbass contraption of his. We're gonna get him out of here. So Danson Hansen asks, how does this one stack up to the first one? I like this one better because of the gameplay. This overall, um, uh, it's just the action gameplay is just more engaging to me. Um, I think the, the story in the first one may have been more, better paced than this one. I don't know. Characters seem to have gotten a little bit more character development in the first game than this one, but, you know, I enjoy the game because of the gameplay. You must be very relieved. Yeah, we got him out. Wait a second. Was it you who saved me? Yeah. Thanks a bunch. Yeah. It was actually Bracken, though, because I don't know this uh, technical mumble jumbo. Hey! Why don't you come and be a security guard in my kingdom? Like, this dude looks so out of place. He would look so out of place in our kingdom. Whatever, we got him. And he gave me Shadow Salad. He gave, he gave me five of those. This is the damage critical hits do. Level up. Andy should be around the corner here. Andrew, yup. We got him. We got him the core. We're gonna give him the core. We got two people. We got three people recruited in this one episode. That was really great. 
That was really great. We can probably do one more really quick, too. Uh huh. Sure, here's hoping this will make you a little less dangerous. Yep. I'm going in. Dude, he turned gold. What the? Oh, man. How do you go from, like, silver to gold, my guy? Am I, am I tripping, or was this guy like a different color before he got that processor? <laughs> like, I gotta be tripping, my guy. I just think it was super nice of you to agree to give me my new processor like this. Mm. Wouldn't that be pretty cool if, like, your CPU changes colors depending on, like, what kind of parts it has? On the processor? Technophilia, yeah, I can finally get a specific thing researched now, which I might go do immediately after. When we brought Andrew from Broadly, he was malfunctioning pretty badly. Well, we got him fixed up, but to be honest, I missed the way he used to be. Now he just keeps pestering us to give him more work. It's such a thing as being too efficient. Efficiency isn't, is never a bad thing. It's better to be useful than not, says. I well either way folks seem to love them. Yep, alright, good stuff. Alright, let's see who we can recruit. There's somebody else I know for a fact that we can probably recruit. There's two more people we can recruit. Price. Look for the delivery robot. Defeat Bolivian. And let's go kill another Yeah, let's go kill some more people. So, let's just go... No, not to the entrance to the world map. Du, 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 Cindy Mae. Ah, uh, we're about to get Cindy Mae right now. We're gonna go recruit her right now. Not now, but right now. Oh, this randomly appeared. This wasn't here before. Escort mission shock and ore? That was definitely not here before, and I'm not doing those. <laughs> I'm probably gonna have to do them for the damn trophy, though. Whoa, whoa, these dudes are uh, pretty uh, ballin', you know what I'm saying? Come on! Alright, looks like we gotta fight on. A slice of mature cheese. We got that cheese on deck. Yeah, Nate, rolling and bracket went in, dude. CP will mostly have no trouble going in in this game. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, I still gotta do the Swift Solutions, too. Like, I actually need to have. I don't think I have TOG. I don't have enough token of gratitude to recruit all the people I need. Because I was spending TOGs on materials I needed for, like, crafting. Alright, let's see. Probably gonna use Roland for this. Oblivion. Alright. We got Confusion. Confusion is just as good as Freeze. Because Confusion will put enemies mostly in a state to where they can get knocked down. The robot that Cindy may ask us to take care of. Target detected commencing annihilation procedure. Are you ready to be annihilated? About to be in your ass, Evan Petty Whiskey Tildrum. <laughs> Careful, everyone! Evan! Oh, God, you're not gonna be getting cut up like that. Ah, oh, shit. Get out of there. Here it goes. Uh, 1830! Go back to sleep! 
<laughs> my god damn that was OD bot on the run he said I'm sending you back to 1830 <sighs> Go. We're gonna go recruit. Cindy May. Cindy Mother May. Midtown, uptown? Huh. It would've been nice to know which one I had to go to. I don't know, I'm, I'm gambling at this point. No whammies? Yes, and I picked the right one. Let's go. Oh wow, there's another quest here. There's two other quests. What the? Nani? This is my bloopin' day. You look pretty bloopin' quick on your bleepin' fe- Oh, is he a delivery? Oh, he wants a delivery, bro? He wants me to deliver some steak? Okay, deliver some steak. Alright, All right, whatever. I don't care about the rest of this quest. Like, story. He wants me to deliver something, right? Blazing ring? Man! See, like, that's not worth. <laughs> Look at this guy. Cafe regular. I've been watching you running around helping people all over the place, and I've been getting worried about you burning out. All right, what do you want me to do? No <laughs> one wants our nation's savior to be rushed off his feet so he can't... Okay. I don't think so. Her name's Morgan and she can spot a... F oh, right. a, a hot trend from a hundred miles away. Uh-oh, Morgan. Sounds like we need to get her. She's picked up some super rare item stuff that nobody's even seen for selling in any store. Uh-oh. All right. Uh oh. Oh yeah. She might be the one that give me the the the, the rare the high quality upgrade. Please let her be the girl. Business sense. Oh, she has businesses. Okay, I take it. Look for Morgan at Sequoia Self Defense. Um, let's finish this quest with Cindy May first. And the world's best buyer. There was another guy. There was another guy that comes with business sense. It's crazy. So many people. So many recruits. Thanks a lot, Drew. All these dudes look hella unique. <sighs> and then you come through for us. I'm just glad nobody got hurt. I still can't figure out why Oblivion would go all weird like that. You know, it looked to me like he's been infected by the same evil influences that sent President Vector over the edge. I didn't think that kind of thing could affect robots, humans, and monsters. The circuit boards and metal? Hmm. Well, you know, Bolivia's AI is like, you know, on a whole new level compared to what we've seen before. It's got a more human than human. <laughs> more human than human, like, that's OD. Thanks. They created the damn... Super AI robot. Yes. You're the best. I've never met anyone like you before. You're a real hero. Listen, I know this kind of may seem out of the blue, but could you? Would you consider let me join you in Evermore? Oh. <laughs> that, that is pretty random and out of the blue, my guy. The social network. Why? Circle of acquaintances that can boost the mining camp's productivity. Hey. Hmm. Maybe you've met my partner in crime, Drew. He's an action idiot. That guy. Every day he gets himself into some new mess. Hey there. I'm trying to track down a criminal. Did you ever try my mom's meat pie? If you had, you know how serious this is. Somebody's gonna pay. Somebody ate his meat. His mom's meat pie. The name's you. It's my job to keep the good folks of Broly safe. I'm on patrol 24-7 or eating. Anyway, this place may seem idyllic, but uh, you never know when a crime might... The crime wave might break out. Uh, should you be out on patrol? Oh yeah, sorry. <laughs> and I like the post. What's the point of liking posts? Is this the Francine chick? Hey. 
Boom, 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 boom. All right, we got Cindy May. So there's a few other things. We we still need to go to Swift Solutions, obviously. Like I'm I'm not I, I'm obviously aware that I still need to go to Swift Solutions. So I'm just trying to get these out of the way first. All right, so what we're gonna do here? Save the game, take a break, split the part, and uh, once we come back, we'll be back to uh, recruit Price as well as Morgan. We're gonna get those two, and we're most likely gonna get a few other people from Swift Solutions as well. So I'll see you guys for the next episode.